In this video I just want to quickly go over the differences in the valve trains between the 996 GT3 engine and the 996 or 997 turbo engine. So both engines are based on the same design and they do share a lot of parts in common but there are some critical differences in the valve train. So what we have here, this is the setup from a GT3 and the one over the other side is from a turbo. Now, in terms of the, the castings and parts, they're based on the same castings. The differences in the castings on the turbo one, you can see it says Vario Cam Plus on there, whereas on the GT3 one, that's basically machined off. So it doesn't have the Vario Cam Plus on there. So Vario Cam Plus is the combination of switchable timing on the uh, intake in terms of switching the cam lobes, but also being able to vary the, the timing. So this is the, the unit that's used, the actuator for varying the timing. So this basically goes onto the inlet camshaft and uh, it just adjusts. I don't, I've done a video on that before explaining how that works. They are different, the actuators between the GT3 and the turbo. According to some information I've read, they can vary the timing by 30 to 40 degrees, depending on which version it is. So I'm not sure which one has 30 degrees difference and which one has 40 degrees difference, um, but they, they certainly are a different part number. In terms of the other parts within the castings, so these are the, the actual tappet chest. These are upside down. I've got them this way up just so I can show you the differences in the machining on this side. So the tappets themselves, this is one of the GT3 ones, as you can see it's, it's domed on there, it's a hydraulic one. These weigh 29 grams, so very lightweight. And the oiling for these, you'll see a little hole, I'm not sure if you can see it in there, it's not really bright enough, there's a small hole there, and those holes go through to this channel here. There's an oil gallery across here, and this drilling goes into it. So for these six along here, they get their oil through this drilling there. And these ones, because the tappets are always are all in the same way round, they've got a, a key in it on there. There's a drilling which goes up across through to here. So this one feeds these and this one along here feeds the six along here. On the GT3 head, this one here isn't used. So that's just basically a, a like dummy, so spare. The difference on the turbo heads, it uses different followers. For the exhaust, it just has this flat follower, weighs 44 grams, larger diameter than the GT3 and heavier. Obviously the turbo engine isn't going to do as many revs as the GT3 engine. And this one's designed to rotate in use so for oiling, it has a groove all the way around it. Um, whereas on the, the GT3 one, it doesn't have a groove. It just has a single hole. The intake on the turbo has this special follower. This one weighs 89 grams. So not far short of um, three times the, the weight of the, of the GT3 one. And this one, because of the Vario Cam Plus, there's two sections to it. So there's a, a low lift section, basically where it just rubs on the outside and a high lift section where the whole thing is linked together. So in terms of the normal operation, there's a, a plunger in here, which is driven from one of the oil feed holes. So there's, there's two oil feed holes on this. One of them is for the hydraulic tappet and the other one is for locking the two sections together for the Vario cam. So basically when it's on the low lift setting, which I'll show you on the Cam, camshaft just here. So you see on the low lift, it's just using the center section of the camshaft. So it's just running on there. And then when the valve is operated, it links them together and runs on all of them. So in terms of the operation of it, there's an oil feed, which comes into here. There's a solenoid on the, on the other side of this, which you'll see when I turn it over. And then the outlet from the solenoid feeds this channel here and this channel here. And there are basically drillings from 
there through to there. So when the solenoid operates, the oil from there is directed into the, the tappets and then it pushes the pins across and locks them together. So the hydraulic followers are fed from drillings on this side for the exhaust and on this side for the intake. So that's what that groove, which wasn't used on the turbo, uh, on the GT3, sorry, is used for on the turbo. And I'll just turn these both over the other way up so you can see the differences on the other side. So with the cam carriers now the correct way up, you can see the differences in machining. So as we said, they're from the same casting. The GT3 has the keyed followers on the inlet and the exhaust, and they're a smaller diameter. So there's not much machining done on here. Whereas in comparison, turbo one for the inlets. So we've got the keyed section there on the intake. There's no key on the exhaust one because they're the, the flat ones which rotate. You can see differences on the on the camshafts. So this is the GT3 camshaft, which has the flat sides on it and the exhaust camshaft for the turbo. You can see it has a rounded end on it. So that's to promote the rotation of the follower. So there's a difference there. One of the differences I pointed out on the head previously in the other video is this groove that's machined in the top of the head. There's two of them one on each side and that groove is there basically to get the oil from this hole here which goes to the oil gallery through to here so it's basically providing the oil feed to the solenoid and the reason there are two of them is because the heads are identical for each side of the engine so with this setup as it is this groove is being used and if it, the head was going on the other side of the engine, then it would be using this groove here for it. So there you go. Those are the main differences between the, the cam carriers. The biggest one being the, the weight of the parts, because these, these followers, this GT3 followers at 29 grams are exceptionally light. And with them being profiled like this, it means it has to run a different profile on the camshafts to accommodate that. Hope that was interesting. Thanks for watching.